OK, so we are going to apply all of these log laws that we've got here. Now, generally, the log laws, I'm just going to see if we can write them down. We have the log of x, y is just the same as log x plus log y. Log of x divided by y is log x minus log y. You'll notice I'm not putting the base a in all of these because I'm just saying that they've, they've all got the same base. It doesn't matter what, whatever the base is. And our last one was that log of x to the power of k is just k log x. OK, so let's try part a of the question. We've got log base 3 of 6 plus log base 3 of 7. Well, these are two things being added together. So I think we can use this rule here. It's going to be the log base 3 of 6 times 7 which is the log base 3 of 42. I'm just going to prove this to you, OK? I'm just going to type in the log base 3 of 6 plus log base 3 of 7. OK, and then on my next line, I'm going to do log base 3 of 42. And they're the same as each other. Let's try B. So we've got log 15 minus log 3. Now, this could be log 10. It could be log anything. It is going to work no matter what. So this looks like a subtraction to me. If it's a subtraction like this one, I'm going to do them as a division. So it's going to be log of 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And I'm going to show you it doesn't matter what the log is, OK? I'm going to do it with a base 10. I'm going to do log 15 minus log 3. And then on a separate line, I'm going to do log of 5. And it's the same. Would work with any base. I'll do it with base e if you like. So it's log of 15 minus log 3. Whoops. And I'm going to do log 5. They're the same as each other. OK, so c, we've got 2 log 5, 3 plus 3 log 5, 2. Now, you may be tempted to add them and to just combine them together straight away by using this law that we've got at the top. But we can't. We first of all need to deal with the fact that there are coefficients to these logarithms. This log base 5 of 3 is being multiplied by 2. It's just meaning outside the front, it's just being multiplied by that. So I need to first of all deal with these powers that are in the front, and I'm going to do that by putting them back inside the expression as these powers. So the first one is going to be log base 5 of 3 squared. The second one is going to be log base 5 of 2 cubed. So this is log base 5 of 9, 3 squared, log base 5 of 2 cubed, which is 8. And now I can use this all. They're being added, so I can multiply them. So it's going to be log base 5, 8 times 9, is 72. So I'm just going to prove this to you. I'm going to do 2 log base 5 of 3 plus 3 log base 5 of 2. And then I'm going to do my log base 5 of 72. And they're the same as each other. OK, let's keep going. So D here. We've got log base 10 of 3. You know what? I'm not even going to write the 10. I'm just going to do it with log 3. Minus 4 log a half. OK, well, the log 3 is fine, but I'm going to have to take that 4 and put it inside the power. So it's going to be a half to the power of 4. Now, a half to the power of 4, uh, a half to the power of 4 is 1 over 16. So that's minus log of 1 over 16. And then this is a, a subtraction here, so I can do the log of 3 divided by... 1 over 16. I'm going to do this in an alternative way in a second. So I'm going to do 3 divided by 1 over 16. And we get it is the log of 48. So there's a different way I could have done this, right? I could have, at the beginning, dealt with this negative 4. Instead, I'm going to do this in a slightly different way up here. In fact, I'm not going to do it in red. Let's do it in a different colour. Let's go into the purple. So here's an alternative way I could have done this one. I could have kept the log 3, but I could have put this minus 4 up as the power. So I could have said it was going to be a plus log a half to the minus 4. 
So I'd have log 3. Now half to the power of minus 4 is going to be, well the half is going to reciprocate to become 2, 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Now I'm using the adding law, so I've got 3 and 16, 3 multiplied by 16 is 48, so I get the log of 48. So if you wanted to, you could have taken this negative that we've got and you could have put it inside up here. You could have put it as a power at the top. We're going to try one more. Let's do 3 ln 4 plus 3 ln 2. So I have 3 ln 4 plus 3 ln 2. Now there's some tricky ways you could do this one. I'm going to show you something that I think is a smart way to do this. I am going to rewrite the first one here. I'm going to rewrite it. Let's see if I can actually just make a bit more space for this. 3ln4 plus 3ln2. I'm going to just make a bit more space here. So I'm going to do 3ln4 plus 3ln2. I'm going to rewrite the first one and see if you can tell why I'm going to do this. I'm going to write 4 as 2 squared. Well, 2 squared now, I've got that power there, this power of 2 which means I can bring it down to the front. So it's going to be 3 times 2 ln2 plus 3 ln2. So that's 6 ln2 plus 3 ln2, which is 9 ln2. Now, I prefer 9 ln2 as an answer, but if you wanted to, you could keep going and you could say this is ln of 2 to the power of 9. 2 to the power of 9 is 512, so it's ln of 512. But later, uh, later on, you're going to see that this kind of answer is preferable. If you did this in alternative method, we could have done this in an alternative way, which I'm going to squeeze in here. We could have done the ln of 4 to the power of 3 plus ln of 2 to the power of 3 which would then simplify to the ln of 4 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3, because of the addition, addition becoming multiplication. And 4 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 is indeed 512. However, later on, you're going to want to see answers that are kept as simplified as possible. And this is actually more simplified than this one that we've got here. OK, and we're going to do this here. Yes, I'm going to keep going. So this time we are going to keep them super generalised. OK, we are going to try and write them in terms of these logs. Now, I'm going to be really lazy. I'm not going to write log A every time. I'm just going to write log for each question. So let's split it up. We've got the log of x squared y z cubed. So first of all, I need to split them into the three separate ones using the addition law. So because they're being multiplied, I can have them as adding like this. And then I can use the power law, so I can take these powers that are at the top and I can pull them down to the front so that I have 2 log x plus log y plus 3 log z. OK, so again, I'm not going to write, I'm not going to bother writing the a, but I've got x over y cubed. Well, this is going to be a division, so it's going to become a subtraction. And then I've got this 3 here in the power, so I'm going to pull it down to the front of that expression. OK, C. We've got log of x root y over z. Let's do this nice and, slow, uh, nice and slowly. So to begin with, we've got the log of x root y. And because of the division, it's going to be a subtraction, so it's going to be log z. This beginning bit is going to be log x plus log root y, and we've still got that minus log z there. I was able to apply the multiplication becoming an addition here. And then hopefully you remember that root y is just the same as y to the power of a half. So I can pull that half down from the front of this bit, and I can write it as a half log y minus log z. And then my last one, d, I've got log of, I'm going to write the base this time, and you'll see why I might need it of x over a to the power of 4. So that's going to be log base a of x minus log base a of a to the power of 4. So this is going to be log base a of x. Now, remember what happened with this earlier on. This log base a and this a kind of cancels. So we're saying it's just going to be minus 4.
So this one just simplifies to minus 4. Okay, we're going to do some more of these um, after I have a look at some mistakes with you, but I'm going to split it into a separate video. So here are a couple of mistakes that you should avoid that are not laws of logs. These are mistakes that students often make. So sometimes they take it where the thing inside the logarithm is being added and they try and split it to an addition. But there's no law for this. There's no method to simplify the log of a sum only the sum of two logs. If this was a multiplication, then the rule would apply, but we can't split an addition. It simply doesn't work. The other thing is that if the entire logarithm is being cubed, you can't just put it down to the front of it. So I've said here that the power must be on the input, so it would have to be on the x, but here the power is around the entire log, so you can't actually do that kind of thing. And I'll show you what it means. So if I was going to say, I don't know, like the log base 2 of 3 to the power of 5. That's this kind of number. But if I said 5 log base 2 of 3, you'll see, what have I done differently here? Oh, silly me, I haven't done, that's a correct application of it. If I was going to do log base 2 of 3 to the power of 5, I was going to do all of it to the power of 5. That is not the same as 5 log base 2 of 3. They are not the same as each other. So you can't take that power at the top and pull it to the front. The power has to be associated with the input, which is the 3 in this case. Okay, so we're going to do some more challenging ones of these simplifications in the next video. Um, but I would definitely review these really carefully because there's some tricky concepts going on here.